Hello, this is Bud Kraus. I'm your friendly web design instructor, and I'm going to show you how to view the source code of any web page. That's the HTML code that you would find in any web page, regardless of what browser or operating system you are using. So I'm going to use two different browsers. So the first one is Firefox on my Macintosh computer. And there are three different ways you can look at the source code. One is just to go to the view menu and look at page source. And there it is right here. Most of this is HTML. Sometimes you might see some CSS, you might see some JavaScript, but you'll always see HTML, that's for sure. And this window here is part of the Firefox browser, so you can't edit anything here. Uh, you can just look at the source code of your page or anybody's page, uh, no matter what website you might want to look at. And in this particular browser, this particular system here, one of the things I like is if you want to click on one of these links here, you can see the source code of that page too. I'm not going to do that, but that's one of the nice advantages of Firefox. Anyway, the two other ways that you can access the source code is to right click on the page and then just go to view page source and it's the same thing. Okay, so that's the file. And the third way is you can use a keystroke. In this case, this would be Command U. And there it is again. So three different ways to access the source code with the Firefox browser. Now, if I want to use Windows, let's just take a look at Internet Explorer. And here's Internet Explorer, same page, my home page. And uh, this is a little bit different, but not terribly. Here I would go to View. In this case, it says Source. And that's just what I want to see. Now, interestingly enough, this is the Notepad application. And uh, I could edit this. If I save this file to my desktop, I'm ready to go and I could edit. I'm not going to do that, but there it is. So I'm going to close this. The other way I could access it, very similar, right click and go to page source or view source. And there it is. So there you have it, two different browsers, two different operating systems, but a very similar way to access the source code of any web page. And of course, you might want to look at that, whether it's a page that you're developing or somebody else's page that's online.